What up, nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome back to the Nerdy Narrative. And today, never seen before on the history of the channel, but teased many times, I'm finally going to do a bookshelf tour. Yes, it's happening and I'm doing it before I can let it get in my mind because every time I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna do a bookshelf tour this week. Then I would look at my shelves and go, I think I need to reorganize. I wanna change some stuff first, or I need to do this, or I need to do that. And then I would do all of that, and then I would never film the bookshelf tour, and then months later when I would revisit it, I would say, oh, I need to do this again. I'm not gonna do that today, we're just gonna get it done. As you are about to find out, I have a lot of books. There are a lot of shelves that y'all can't even see in the frame. So as to not make this incredibly long, I'm not gonna pull out every single book and read you the title and tell you what it's about. More along the lines of, I'm just going to show you maybe some of my favorite covers or some special books that I've read that I read long before I started the channel, just things of that nature. So I hope you're excited. I hope you're ready. Let's get started. So here we go. We got all of my shelves. Hopefully I'm not wiggling my phone too terribly much. I'm using this new little vlogging rig Chris got me so I can go do some shooting out in the wild for stuff. My camera, the lens I like to use is just too stinking heavy to carry that in a big chop out around. I'm not in for that. These are all of my shelves that we're going to go over real quick and I thought I might could show you behind the scenes while we're here. This is my office. I've got my light out here in the middle so I can show some good light on the bookshelves here. It's normally closer to that corner over there where the microphone is. Here's my little mini reading nook in my office. I like to sit in with a blanket. Here's my desk. And of course, this is where the magic happens. That's where I sit and I film. And this is my little stationary nook that I added recently. I have it right by my desk since I journal all of the time. Up here are just a couple of floating shelves with whatever odds and ends. Let's get into why you are all here. The bookshelf tour. We'll start with the first shelf. The way my shelves are currently it's all just by author's last name. I don't have genres pulled out. Everybody's just in by their last name. Top shelf, as should be, Joe Amber Crombie. I'd have more books than shelves, so that's why I have all of these up top. I have like my favorite series pulled out. And so you can see I have the Broken Binding special editions of the First Law Trilogy, which I also have the UK edition. And then I loaned the US version to a friend of mine. I hope that she loves it. And then on the next shelf, you fantasy fans are going to recognize some names. A Touch of Light, Tiago Abdallah. Gollum by Petey Oliva. This is one I'm going to read later this year. This is an arc I got. I haven't read. Haven't read. The Winter Night Trilogy. Oh, I love this series. It is absolutely beautiful. I did originally start with the paperbacks and then I had to get the hardbacks. Oh no. Where are you going? Yes, I am OCD. I pull all of my books out so they're even. <laughs> And next to that is Zach Argyle's The Threadlight series. I have the third book ordered from The Broken Binding. It's supposed to be coming, sign and number to match my set. The first book in Jennifer Armentrout series from Blood and Ash. I haven't read this one yet. Hopefully this year. I love this series. Urban Fantasy series. The Fetch Phillips Archives by Luke Arnold. Amazing, amazing series. And then I have another Broken Binding special edition. I have The Coward and the Warrior by Stephen Aryan. Look how beautiful, which these are out of order. Let's just fix that. I did a video recently where I filmed with those is why. I don't know if it's shown up on the channel yet, but there you go. Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. Haven't read it. Picked that up recently. Josiah Bancroft's The Books of Babel. I still have not read the final book. I'm probably going to end up rereading these three before I read that one. And then on the next shelf, I have a whole bunch of Lee Bardugo. I think I have all of her stuff, except I haven't gotten the second book in this series yet, which is Hellbent. Let's see. We've got my Daniel Barnett collection started here. I need to get the rest of his books. Yes, I have two versions of one because he sent me the original cover that he signed. I do that. If I love an author or I love a book, I will get every single cover I can find. You're going to see more of that later. 
Does anybody else do that? Let me know in those comments below. The Divine Cities trilogy. I've only read the first one. I need to finish that one. I also have Foundry Side that my friend Ev gave to me after she read it. <gasps> JCM Burns, The Hybrid Helix. This is going to be a favorite. Yes, I've only read the first one so far, but I loved it enough to know it's going to be a favorite. And then Dog Meat by Priscilla Bettis. I haven't read this one yet. It was a gift from my friend Heidi who said it was really good. I saw an author that I really enjoy, Braden Riddick, who you're going to see his book later. He read this recently and loved it, so I'm really excited about it. Blind Sympathy. This is the first book an author sent to me to read and review when I started my channel. So this one is very special. Nothing will ever take its place. I am so proud to have that one on my shelf. And then I have three other books by her as well. To Guard With Love was so super cute. And then moving on to the next shelf. Haven't read, haven't read, love Brian Boyer. I'm gonna collect all of his books one day. They're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and they're just really fun reads he's got another one that came out recently i forget the name of it but it has a bright pink color gotta have it haven't read didn't like i need to unhaul this one i don't know that i'm gonna like this series it is by different authors so maybe i'll like a different author i need to unhaul that haven't read it yet heard it's really good haven't read heard it's really good haven't read heard mixed things about it the precious pierce brown red rising series yes i have them all in hardback they were gifts from different friends and they are just beautiful treasured possession an arc that i picked up from somewhere but i haven't read yet sandra brown's out fox i've heard a lot of good things about her as an author my friend victoria gave that to me so i'm going to be reading that one moving soon. on down we have jim butcher these are going to be unhauled because I replaced them with the Orbit version. I, I don't have the whole series in physical form. I read all of these on Kindle when I first discovered the series and got into it. Of course, I have my little skull from Bob. Octavia Butler's Kindred. I'm really excited to read that. This is another in that same series, Twisted Tales, but it's a different author. So I'll see if I like that one. The Mask of Mirrors. Y'all, these books are gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous i think the third book comes out in october of this year i cannot wait to have that um and then of course alice in wonderland we have the david Ba trilogy american panda i heard it's super cute haven't read it yet you're gonna hear that a lot I haven't read it yet haven't read it yet haven't read it yet loved haven't read it yet haven't read it yet haven't read uh, yes. Here's where things are going to get interesting for me in the comments. Yes, I am a Closet Cassandra Clare fan. I haven't read all of the books. I did start the series when it first came out, and I just kind of fell off the wagon. Collected a couple of Mary Higgins Clark books. I used to be a huge fan of her when I was younger, and I picked these up for super cheap and hardback from the used bookstore. The Patience of a Dead Man. This is my absolute favorite Haunted House trilogy. Even if you just read the first book, like if you don't read all three, the first book is enough. It's so good. Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark. Have not read it yet, but I do have a signed hardback by the author. Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I've got the Ready Player One books. The second one, Blue. I've got the arc I picked up from somewhere of High Fire, which I want to read since I heard they were making a movie out of it and old Nicolas Cage was going to be in it. I've got, who is this? Bridget Collins, The Binding. Haven't read it yet. I found this collector edition at a used bookstore when I went home to, come out of there. When I went home for Christmas a couple of years ago, I have no idea who made it. I mean, I guess it'll tell me in the books. Oh! but it has deckled edges. How cool is that? I haven't actually read this physically. I only read it on my Kindle, but now I have a physical copy for when I want to reread it. And then of course I have the Expanse series I've started collecting. I've watched the TV show, which follows the books very, very closely. I had started reading them and then they came out with the collection of short stories in a book. So I decided to start over when I could read the story since I was just reading them on Kindle. And then here I have the Bernard Cornwell Warlord Chronicles. I got them in hardback and their original editions off of Pango. My beloved S.A. Crosby collection that I've started. And then next to it I have the 
gorgeous collection of Curtis Craddock's The Risen Kingdoms trilogy. They are all personalized and signed to me by the author, which is so cool. My friend Kate gifted those to me, and I'm just... They're beautiful, prized possession. And then I have Justin Cronin's The Passage. Haven't read that yet, hopefully this year. And then we have finally made it over into the second shelf. Up top are the hardbacks that I have of Terry Goodkind's The Sword of Truth series. Then I have my Blake Crouch collection that I've got going. I got House of Leaves, which maybe one day I will read. <gasps> These are out of order. How did so many of these series end up backwards? Uh, I'll fix it later. But I have the self-published cover. For those of you who aren't aware, he got signed and they have new covers, which they're cool, but I am happy to have the self-published version. I have a couple of books from the Great Book series. I have a couple of books from this series of Ted Decker's, which I'm missing one. I think I'm missing book two or book three. Legendborn, a couple of random Jude Devereaux's. I have H.B. Diaz's Nocturne collection. I have a Philip K. Dick book, The Man in the High Castle, I need to read. If you've been around the channel a while, you have heard about The Dark That Dwells. I wonder if they have a second book coming out. Room, I picked up as a project to do with a booktuber and that fell through. I still want to read it though. I have some Nikki Drayden books, Rebecca, I've got Brian Lee Durfee's first book, Sarah Beth Durst, Queen of Blood. I want to read this series because I read Bowmaker and loved it and I heard this series is even better. My treasure here, this is the special edition of John Durgin's The Cursed Among Us and this cover is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Looking back, I think there are more books unread on this shelf than are read. Let's see, I've read... One, two, three, four, five. And the rest I haven't read yet. Um, as you probably noticed, I'm collecting the trade paperbacks of the Malazan series. I am going to get back to that one soon. Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I didn't get to that one this year. The Awakening Fire by Cassidy Phelan. Love that. Got some Faulkner. Some mass market paperback Raymond Feist that are going to get replaced by trade paperback. The Old Universe is one I'm going to be reading later this year, as well as this one. My goodness. Ah, uh, I need to reread Man's Search for Meaning. This is one that needs to be read every year. It's just so good. Next, we have The Lotlands Trilogy by Jonathan French. The first two books were great. Third one, yuck. I'm probably going to be unhauling that series. Obsidian Awakening. I got a random special edition of Diana Gabaldon's Outlander. I don't have any of the rest of the books except on Kindle. Just Like Home. Neil Gaiman. And this was gifted to me by a friend to read and review. It's some series I had never heard of, but it looks really old. The Gandalara Cycle. Have y'all heard of that one? Let me know. That reminds me, I never got the physical copy of his second book. Never finished. I need to get that. I need to reread Romantic Outlaws. I've picked up a few hardback John Grishams at my used bookstore for like a quarter. For some reason, there always seems to be a ton of John Grisham books out there. All of my John Gwynn books I got from Broken Binding when it first got its start. Before they were obvious about book plates and signatures. And then I have the Bloodsworn Saga over here. Uh, the Wickwire Watch. This is an art from Self Pub that I'm going to be reading and reviewing later this year. Some Kristen Hanna books. I read this one and loved it. It was my favorite of my SBFBO books. I've got J.P. Harker's books here. Oh, another great author. Deborah Harkness, A Discovery of Witches trilogy. I love this. Well, I think it's no longer a trilogy. I think they include Time's Convert in it now, which I hated that book. And then a couple of some other series by Charlene Harris. They were on sale at my used bookstore, so I just went ahead and picked them up and figured out to collect them over time. Next to that are a couple of books from the Gunny Rose Urban Fantasy series. They changed the covers on me. Look at that. So I will probably get rid of that one and replace it with the updated covers so they mitchy matchy Alex E. Harris books here. This one here is a nonfiction Tony Hawk's Round Ireland with a Fridge. He's a comedian who lost a bet with his friend when he got drunk and he had to travel around Ireland carrying a mini fridge. It's hilarious. Got Rob J. Hayes, which I haven't read. 
This is an excellent series. Gorgeous covers. Kevin Hearn's The Seven Kennings Trilogy, which we should be getting the third book soon. I saw on Twitter the third book has gone to editing, so hopefully we'll be getting some release information on that soon. I'm looking forward to the conclusion of that trilogy. And then I have the first book in his urban fantasy series, Hounded, and then a whole bunch of Dee Henderson books. Absolutely love her. And we go up to the tippy top got my Robin Hobb up there. I've got Dune. I'm excited. We're going to get the next two books in this series that are going to be all cool edges and cool covers like this one. And then some Grady Hendrix, Karen Hewler. I need to read Glorious Plague. Another series that's probably never going to get finished because it didn't sell well. So that sucks. Nosferatu, Joe Hill. I need to read that. I haven't read that one yet. And then down here, this is my Zora Neale Hurston collection. Some of it. A couple of books are elsewhere in the house due to being read. And then down here, well first I'm turning that one down. That author gets zero coverage on this channel. I've got my Ryan Hyatt books. I have another one by him that I'm going to be reading soon. I've already pulled it, put it next to my stack. I have Gerzel by I Anonymous. I've got Faded here, which is the first in the Alex Veris series, I think it is, Urban Fantasy. Redwall, I picked that up at my used bookstore. I got my Ross Jeffrey collection going here. N.K. Jemison, which she carries down to the next shelf. Oh, I really need to make room for this one. Look how colorful and pretty this shelf is. This is what I was talking about earlier when I was mentioning about when I really love a book or an author, I buy every version of it. So I have this beautiful limited edition that Evie got me. And then I have the hardback. Then I have a beautiful signed personalized copy that Evie also got me. I have the UK cover and then I have the ARC. And then of course the collection goes into some of his other works. I have the My Heart is a Chainsaw. I've ordered the second in that series. Down below, these are my mass market paperbacks. Isn't that cool? My friend Lana had that made for me. And Stephen Graham Jones, we trust, but first coffee. And then these are my mass market paperback for the Wheel of Time series. These are my original copies of every single one of these books since I started the series. I took really good care of them, but even so, time still gets to them, and some of them, when you open them now, the pages fall out. So that is why I replaced them with the hardback editions, which... There are some missing if you're counting and you know the series. This one I haven't read yet. This one I read ages ago. I think there are more books in that one. I need to get it. I need to get the first book in that series. Uh, Love to Ghana by Guy Gavril K. I need to read this one. I didn't like the other one I read by him. I already unhauled it, as you've noticed. Um, I got a Carolyn Ketnis here to try out. I have this one to try out. And then we get into my King collection, which I am so stupid. So I love the Dark Tower. I'm collecting the old paperbacks as well as the hardbacks of the series. And then I have the new covers in the series. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little crazy when it comes to book collecting. But more Stephen King here. Continues on down to here. And let me move Oogie Boogie over. Got a T. Kingfisher hiding behind here. I have more by her, but they're on my Kindle. Let's see. Empire of the Vampire. That's such a pretty book. I bought this one to read it last year, but then I got the news that the second one was coming out, so I decided to wait. Got the Poppy War trilogy. I need to get the second book in this series. I really love this one. Pew, and then the old Robin Hood series by Stephen Lawhead. My beautiful The Children of Gods and Fighting Men by Shauna Lawless. I can't wait to get my hands on the second book in that series. And then here is the Greenbone Saga that I still haven't read yet. Um, then we have The Making of Gabriel Davenport by Beverly Lee. Love her. I need to get some of her other books in physical form that I've read and loved. My old Narnia books. Got some Leah Lindemann. Need to read some more of my Clarice Lispector stories. Need to get into this one. Got a few of Chad's amazing works here. Y'all need to check him out if you haven't already. Lies of Locke Lamora. Uh, I soft DNF'd it. Said I was going to give it another shot. I guess I need to do that. Got the beginning of Jim Lyons series. I have Sarah J. Mass here. 
Haven't read any of her stuff yet, but I am going to try her out. Nick Martell's The Legacy of the Mercenary Kings. Got my old mass market paperbacks here of George R.R. Martin. A few hardbacks. And again, another duology with the books out of order. I'm going to have to go through my shelves. I don't know what I did. I've done something here. Oh, I bet I know what I did. I did recently try to move books around and make room for stuff. And I guess I just put them down in one order and picked them up in another. I got this one in preparation to read for sometime this year. I have the Powder Mage trilogy I need to finish. I need to get Ed McDonald's series going. Loved Betty by Tiffany McDaniel. She's got a new book out that I need to get a hold of. I've got the first book in Queeve McDonald's Dublin trilogy and he can't count because the trilogy is now seven books long. I need to get into that. Shauna McGuire. The stuff I own by her is all middle game related. The Alchemical Journey series. And then these two little books that are also written by her under a different name tie into this series. So I'm excited to finally read those one of these days. Peter McLean. I have Priest of Bones. I need to read it. This was a gift to me by my friend Ev. And yes, here's another guilty pleasure. I have the Twilight series and I'm not gonna lie to you, I loved it. But what I loved more was her book, The Host, which was supposed to be a trilogy. And when they did the announcement that they did the countdown on our website a couple of years ago, I was so excited because I thought we were getting the next book in the series. And it was that stupid Midnight Sun release. Terry Miles, Rabbits. This was given to me by my friend Dia from the channel Novel Idea. I want to check that out. The Song of Achilles, The Undertaker's Daughter. I cannot wait to read that later this year. And moving on into the next to last shelf. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So we'll just go along here. Got my Toni Morrison, my Gideon the Ninth, which I just keep rereading over and over instead of actually continuing the series, which I need to do. I need to get Fury Song read. I read the first two. Loved those. Ah, oh, love these. Hopefully Chad's newest book's gonna be coming out soon. Haven't read that yet. Working on that. Loved it. Gotta get that one read. Can't wait to read that one. Can't wait to read that one. Probably my favorite grim dark novel ever next to a book that makes me crack up every time I think about it. Yes. I have the Aragon books. I never got the fourth one though. I need to get the fourth one. Still haven't read that. So many people didn't like it when it came out that it kind of turned me off of reading it. Gotta get some KJ Parker read. Oh, here's some nostalgia right here. I loved Frank Peretti when I was little. I love books that are about religion, angels, demons, all that kind of fun stuff. And moving on, we got Insomnia, The Maid, Doggone It. I need to read this series. This series all has really funny names because the little detective duo, one of them is a dog. And I think we get some of this in the dog's perspective. I got Maynard's House, which I meant to read last October and just couldn't fit it in. Had too much going. Moving down here, we'll move my Zero Fox given. I've got Daisy Jones and the Six, The Queen of the Damned. I'm planning a reread of that series. And then the beautiful special edition of Ungodly. Let me show you all that. Kind of do this one-handed. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Got the first two books of this trilogy. I need to get the third and finish it. These I picked up at my used bookstore. Well, actually, I got this, the first one and the second one from the bookstore, but it had the stupid Netflix. I wanted the creepy kid cover, so I got that one. I bought that one, and I just kept them both for some silly reason. Got the first Percy Jackson book. That one's been through it. Scarlet, which is sort of a sequel to Gone with the Wind couple of Francine Rivers books here. I never started that series or that series. Got a World of Warcraft book, Name of the Wind. I'm going to read that one this year. Have this beautiful, beautiful edition. I just love it. And then we have the illustrated Harry Potter. Down below, I've got the paperbacks for when I started and the hardbacks. And then we get into the Empire of Silence books by Christopher Rocchio. I have Waking Ursa Minor, a couple of Riley Sagers, and then I have all of Joseph Sale's books. I think I have all of his books. I might be missing two or three. And then the third one of this series is over on my desk because I'm reading it right now. And then next to it, we have this beautiful cover right here 
year of the crew. I can't wait to read this. And then of course that leads us into all of my Brandon Sanderson books. I have a hodgepodge. I got some of the hardbacks, paperbacks, US, UK down here. I've got the leather bound Way of Kings. This was maybe the original Way of Kings before some changes were made. Can't remember the details, probably won't ever read it. And then I have a couple of VE Swab that I picked up from the used bookstore that I still haven't read, as well as Samantha Shannon, The Bone Season, haven't read, nor have I read Priory of the Orange Tree. Got Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which I'm hoping to read this year. Mike Shell's Iconoclast Trilogy. And we're on the home stretch, my friends. The last shelf. Oh, look, a trilogy that I've not read. I've got Neil Schusterman's Scythe trilogy. I have the Sweet Pea books by CJ Skuse. I read the first one and loved it. I need to finish the trilogy. Then the Violin Conspiracy by Brendan Slocum. Book Club read that last year. Loved it. Can't wait to read his new one. Ah, this beautiful cover. The Sadius by Austrian Spencer. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I love Daniel Sarah's artwork. Got a bunch of books here that I haven't read yet. I've read the book of cold cases, so I want to read The Sundown Motel. Loved East of Eden by John Steinbeck, so The Grapes of Wrath is on the list for this year. I have Andrea Stewart's series started here that I want to read. The Help which is a favorite, and then Star Mark Rising. I need to get that second book in that series and read it. It's funny because I have some really beautiful books by Adrian Tchaikovsky that I haven't read yet. I hope to get one of these read this year. Tori's Face. I'm reading that one in a few months. And then I have this old series that I read from when I was a teenager, The Zion Chronicles by, I am not going to pronounce her name. And Richard Thomas is one of my favorites short story writers. An absolute phenomenal writer. If you're a fan of Stephen Graham Jones, you will love Richard Thomas's writing. I've got Kill Creek here I need to read. Of course, you all probably recognize this one here. I got this copy and then I got rid of all of my other copies. I had a couple of different types of old paperback copies that I had of my Lord of the Rings that I gave away. I think I gave away. I might have turned one set into my used bookstore for credit. Yes, when I reread the series, I will be reading it out of that book. I bought it. I'm going to read it. Kurt Vonnegut. I have the first and second edition of Weavers by John Walker. And then The Rave by J.R. Trask. This book is so beautiful. I have the second one in hardback, but I think it's downstairs being used as decoration on my coffee table. Sword of Kaigen, loved, haven't read, some Ruth Ware and some Andy Weir. Got a couple of the Murderbot series by Martha Wells. I'm currently working on The Bitter Twins, so it's missing. Of course, I have The Burning Books by Evan Winter. Legend of Blackjack is a favorite. I'm excited. I need to get my hands on book two. Got a limited signed edition of Westlake Soul by Rio Ewers. My husband is listening to this on audio right now and absolutely loving it. I told him to skip this one because only the first book was good in that one. I totally blame Disney for that. I feel they cut his legs out from under him about what he could say because of the shows they have coming out. And then they took this out of canon. You know what? Screw y'all, Disney. And then we get into a whole bunch of short story collections. And then on the last shelf here, I have all of my comic books graphic novels, and manga. And so there y'all have it. That is a 2023 bookshelf tour of the books that are currently on these shelves. I actually have more books, but they're downstairs. We're not going to worry about those. Maybe they'll be on the shelf for the next tour. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one.